A lot of people have been asking me how I edit my video like this one, and today's tutorial will be all about it. So the three apps that we will be using are Motion Leap for animating our pictures, Leapix Converter to add some movement, and CapCut for editing it all together. I also use MovePic, a Motion Leap alternative that offers the same features and more for half the price if you opt for a pro subscription. These apps are all free with pro subscriptions available, and you can download them in the App Store or Google Play Store except Leapix. Lea is web-based. Now, because everything is made on the phone, you will see on the left an overall look and on the right a zoomed approach to see where I click, etc. So let's get started. First, let's say that our story is about a woman who loves to run. I already have a few pictures saved to work with. So we will first start with Leah pics. Once you're in front of the main page, click on continue with Leah login. You will then be presented with the option to sign in. So click sign in with your Google account or create a new account if you don't have one yet. Once in, you will see a couple of options. The bottom options here are not yet available until we have a picture to work with. So let's click on the plus sign. Select the picture. The first option that we have controls the speed, which means that you can choose if you want a fast or slow speed movement for your image. If you just play around from one to six, you will see how it affects the image. Now, because our image is about running, let's keep the speed around one or something close to one. Then the second option we have controls the image movement. You can have a horizontal motion, a horizontal circular motion, a full circular motion, a vertical circular motion, and a vertical motion. Let's use vertical motion. One we have next control how much motion we want for our image, so you can choose between more, regular, or less. Just play with whichever setting is the most appropriate for what you want to achieve. We will choose more. The last option helps you decide which part of the image needs movement. When you click on far, the movement focuses on the runner, first plan. If you choose close, it will focus more on the background, third plan. And if you choose center, it will be a blend of both. So let's use center. I'm not sure what this third option is for, but I'm not using it. So let's save. Click on the share button and then choose your extension. Click MP4 and click save. So now we're gonna head over to Motion Leap where we can apply some animation to the cloud. They have plenty of tutorials inside the app, so we will just focus on working with our image. So when you load your picture, you will see multiple options at the bottom. We will mainly be using the animate button. What we want to do is to freeze the element that we don't want moving. In our case here, it's our runner. Click on path, choose the element you want the move to be applied and draw your desired movement. I will choose the clouds. Now when you press play, you can see that the mountains are moving, which we don't want. So we're gonna use the anchor feature, which is another version of the freeze button. Both have the same function, just choose the one that suits you best. Let's polish this a bit. And I'm pretty happy with the results. Now here they have some effects that you can use, but we won't need any for this example. You can also play with different sky effects, but I found it works best only with clear sky images. Then we got some different elements. Down here is the pro version, so you're quite limited in what you have with the free one. Again, we won't be using any of this. However, I like to add some camera movements with the camera effects, just to add another dimension to it. So we're going to choose this one. It's very subtle, but it's quite what we need for now. The app also has some overlay that you can play with. Let's add some rain. And for more, you'll have to subscribe to a pro subscription. So let's leave the rain here. I'm happy with that. So we are going to export our video. Click export and choose the appropriate aspect ratio along with the duration of your animation. Six seconds is enough. Select 1080p quality and export. Quick note, make sure to decide early which images will go into Motion Leap or Leapix since our main effects in CapCut only works for picture. Now, I also wanted to show you a Motion Leap alternative, which is called MoveBic. The app offers more, in my opinion, for half the price of Motion Leap. So let's play with the same picture. As you can see, we've got very similar options. Choose Animate, and by choosing Portrait in the Freeze option, it will automatically detect who's to freeze. 
you can then make some adjustments. Then it's the same as Motionly. You can start animating the area that you want and freeze the part that you don't want or anchor them. I'm going to just use the freeze feature so you can see how it looks like and you can as well anchor a bit just to do some more precision work. And that's pretty good. So then you can just keep playing with the different effects that you have available. We can play with the sky, the water, etc. You will just need to take time to learn the app and what you can do. You really have a variety of things that you can add to bring your images to life. In the camera section, you have many more options compared to Motion Leap, and you can also adjust the speed. So we gonna select this one. Once happy, you can just export. Choose your aspect ratio, the video quality 1080p, and six seconds is fine too. So now we are going to our editing app, which is CapCut. They also have a web version, but it's just easier for me to use the app. Once you download it and open it, just click on new project and import your videos and images. Here we have our videos from Motion Leap and Leah Pix, as well as the original pictures that we haven't touched. And you will see in a moment why you don't want to touch them. So this is our video so far. Before starting anything, we want to make sure that the aspect ratio is correct. So we're going to choose our 16 by nine and make sure to adjust every image to it. Like every app, it's just about looking and exploring what options and features we have. But before we start looking, let's just copy this one to make it a bit longer. Now the effect that everyone's been asking me for is found in style. To find this option, you have to click on your image and then go to style and look for motion or scroll until you see it. You will then see these two options, 3D Zoom Pro and 3D Zoom. These are the two main effects that I'm using for my images. So let's select 3D Zoom Pro. And now let's try 3D Zoom. I like the first one better. For our next image, let's apply 3D Zoom. Now, if you recall earlier, I mentioned that these effects only work with images. Well, here we have our Motion League clip and we can apply our effect. Same thing for our Leopix clip. So let's do this last one, 3D zoom, and here we go. They also have here other options. If you wanted to, you could even add a smile. Let's add a smile to our character. Look how happy she is to run. Brilliant. But obviously, you lose the 3D zoom effect, so you have to choose whichever effect you want to use. Then another key point to make your video even better is to use transitions. It's something that I use a lot. So you can see they have many options, and this is really about trying around, just going through what they have and choosing which one to use. You can adjust the length and just try to diversify. That's good. Down here, if you click on the stickers, they have so many options you can use and add to your videos. I also use the effects section a lot and you can find it if you go down here. It's all again about exploring, just experimenting. The more you do it, the more familiar you will become with the app. One last feature that I love to use is the audio feature, which is simply adding some sound effects to your video rather than just having a voiceover and images. Again, this helps in bringing life to your video. And when you combine this with the zoom effects and transitions, your video will really stand out. You've got many options, and if you don't find what you like, you can simply just go to YouTube and find some copyright free sounds that you can add. And hear a sound for the transition. We can also add some heavy breathing just to make the illusion that she's running. Okay, once happy, select your video quality, 1080p or more depending on your phone, and 60 frame per second. 
Then just click on the arrow in the top right corner to export. And that's pretty much it for my tutorial on how to edit your video to make it stand out. I hope that was helpful. Leave your comments and questions in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more stories and tutorials. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.